Welcome to High Spirit Vlogs. In today's video, I'm going to show you around Spitalfields and show you one of my favorite bagel shops in London. Before I get started, remember to subscribe to this channel. It really helps us get discovered more. So let's get started. As the world is opening back up, there's a renewed sense of optimism. Although overseas travelers are slowly trickling in, there are still a lot of people living in the UK and are using this opportunity to do staycations and explore more of the UK or London. Once things are fully open up again, at, or if you're in London, maybe you should consider visiting Spitalfields or the Shoreditch area. We hope our videos inspire you to see more of this area. Just to give you guys a little background of Spitalfields, Spitalfields is located in East London and is within the London borough of Tower Hamlets. The area has several markets. They are, of course, Spitalfields Market, the historic old Spitalfields Market, which is basically next door, Brick Lane Market and Petticoat Lane Market. In Spitalfields, you can find some hard to find and unique gifts to buy for your friends and family. It is truly a hub where you can find items that are created by the actual sellers. If you visit a store, there's a high chance that the seller is also the creator of the product. There's a wide array of beautifully handmade products, clothing and artwork to check out. It's really cool to buy products that have a personal touch and it feels like you're supporting the creator and their work. When I'm traveling abroad to visit some of my friends, I always make sure to go to Spitalfields to get some really cool gifts. I'm just the type of guy that never shows up empty handed. Just next door is the historic old Spitalfields market. There are so many restaurants and a lot of quirky boutiques to satisfy every taste. Also, if you're a foodie, there are so many food trucks serving all types of food from a wide range of places. London is a very diverse city and the food trucks and the culinary experiences perfectly reflect that. If you like Mexican food, British food, Indian food, Ethiopian food and more. That reminds me, for the past week I've had a huge craving for burrito. I don't know why but I've been stopping myself because you know I'm trying to lose some weight. I think I'll probably get it on the weekend. I usually get random cravings for different types of food. I'm a bit of a foodie myself. You know what, comment below. What have you been craving for recently? What type of food cravings have you been craving for recently? Because honestly, this burrito craving ain't gonna go away until I actually get a burrito. So but I'm just gonna have to wait till this weekend to get it. But anyway. Anyway guys, just wanted just to see, quickly show you guys Box Park. Box Park is the world's first pop-up mall. It's actually entirely constructed out of refitted shipping containers. It's super cool. It's a really cool concept and a true gem in the Shoreditch area. It's pretty much a really great hub for tourists, residents and workers. Here you can find amazing items from creative independent brands. There are also really cool food spots with a wide range of cultures and tastes you'll literally be spot for choice. They have three locations, as far as I'm aware. They are Shoreditch, Wembley, and Croydon. I've actually been to the Croydon one, and it's absolutely huge. So if you're visiting the Croydon area, definitely check it out. Now, I'm finally at Beagle Bake. Guys, this is my favorite bagel shop. I have tried bakery spots from around the world. I've even tried bagel from New York but nothing beats the bagel from Beagle Bake. It was actually established in 1974. We are now in 2020, so that's a long time of making bagels. So it's no surprise that they have perfected the bagel. They also do cakes and all that other stuff, but guys, you've got to check this place out. I'll leave the link in the description. If you guys enjoyed that, please like and subscribe to this channel. See you guys on the next episode.